want to see someone systematically disprove everything you have read about trading stocks and expose how and why you will consistently lose money if you aren't doing it right? Click the link in the description to check it out for yourself. But now for today's video. The question, how do you analyze multiple time frame for trading? Answer by C. Chauvin. Most of the novice traders use lower time frames alone to take intraday trades. Yes, lower times are important in intraday but they on their own can't provide you with the overall market direction. There is a procedure and system involved before using lower time frame charts. Suppose you use 5 minutes chart in isolation then you would end up trading noise and false signals instead of finding trend and price action. Let's check out a better way to use 5 minutes chart. First you need to find the overall trend on higher time frames before jumping on 5 minutes chart. I personally use daily and hourly time frames to get the eco view of the overall trend. This is very important. You will sense the market move well in advance by following such practice. I will try to explain this step by step using Infosys chart. Infosys on 1D time frame. Try to observe the graph closely. You can clearly find that on 25th January 2018, the Infosys stock was approaching a very strong resistance level which was established way back in June to July 2017. I have marked the level with black line. If you use the 5 minutes chart then you won't be able to see the historical support and resistance levels which were formed years ago. Just for a double check you can look at the RSI reading which clearly shows overbought status. So, this is how I got my first green signal for a possible short selling. Let's check 1 hour time frame of Infosys. Now, I drew Fibonacci levels in order to find my targets and immediate support levels. On previous day 24 January 2018, as the stock was falling after it failed to break the strong resistance level which I showed you on the daily chart. I knew that the downside would continue today till it reaches the 23.6% Fibonacci level. So now on the 5 minutes chart you didn't have to do anything except placing the short sell trade. This is the way professional traders use multiple time frames to find the trend. Higher time frames, like daily, give you good understanding about strong support and resistance levels use them to increase your consistency. Medium time frames like hourly, are used for analyzing price action and see if there is any momentum. Use Fibonacci, GAN levels, trend lines etc. Lower time frames like 15 minutes, 5 minutes are used just to make sure you enter early and exit late and take the benefit of entire move. Stock market has a powerful memory. It remembers all the historical moves it made. Hence all the future moves of a stock is just a reaction to the historical data. We should use the data to our advantage and try to make charts speak to us about their past. Share love. Happy learning. Answer by Santoshi Chawla. Let's say that Cinderella, who gets bored all day cleaning up after her evil stepsisters, decides that she wants to trade Forex. After some demo trading, she realizes that she likes trading the euro to US dollar pair the most, and feels most comfortable looking at the 1 hour chart. She thinks that the 15 minute charts are too fast while the 4 hour take too long after all, she needs her beauty sleep. But the first thing that Cinderella does is move up to check out the 4 hour chart of euro to US dollar. This will help her determine the overall trend. She sees that the pair is clearly in an uptrend. This signals to Cinderella that she should only be looking for buy signals. After all, the trend is her friend, right? She doesn't want to get caught in the wrong direction and lose her slipper. Now, she zooms back to her preferred time frame, the 1 hour, to help her spot an entry point. She was also decides to pop on the stochastic indicator. Once she goes back down to the 1 hour chart, Cinderella sees that a doji candlestick has formed and the stochastic has just crossed over out of oversold conditions. But Cinderella still isn't quite sure she wants to make sure she has a really good entry point, so she scales down to the 15 minute chart to help her find an even better entry and to give her more confirmation. So now Cinderella is locking her eyes in on the 15 minute chart, and she sees that the trend line seems to be holding pretty strongly. Not only that, but stochastic are showing oversold conditions on the 15 minute time frame as well. She figures that this could be a good time to enter and buy. Let's see what happens next. As it turns out, the uptrend continues, and euro to US dollar continues to rise up the charts. Cinderella would have entered just above 1.2800 and if she had kept the trade open for a couple of weeks, she would have made 400 pips. She could have bought another pair of glass slippers. There is obviously a limit to how many time frames you can study. You don't want a screen full of charts telling you different things. Use at least two, but not more than three time frames because adding more will just confuse the G willikers out of you and you'll suffer from analysis paralysis. 
then proceed to go crazy. Is there a wrong way to do multiple time frame analysis, you ask? Some of our Forex friends have been nice enough to give their two cents on this matter through this forum thread on multiple time frame analysis. At the end of the day, it really is all about finding what works best for you. For further strategies or investment related queries, try Swastika Investmart Limited to manage your wealth profile. Click here to open an account or feel free to contact us. Answer by Anupam Thakur. Thank you for A2A. Multi time frame analysis is must to have skill to be a successful traders, but it needs a lot of time and practice to master this art. Let me explain with one of my recent trades. I bought I Venture at 253, 9th March, trade book screenshot. Unrealized profit 3.43% updated after closing bell 9th March. Here is my multi time frame analysis behind this trade. In above daily chart you can see on 8th of March trend made a bullish belt hold candlestick pattern see red arrow in above image trend took a u-turn from support around 236 level see blue line in above image on 6 7th and 8th trend made a morning star candlestick pattern although a gap down was missing on 7th of March candle see blue bracket in above image stochastic was going high after making a bullish crossover 10 and 20 Emma were about to make bullish crossover chart was showing green signal for the trade then I zoomed into one hour chart for a low risk entry point in above one hour chart you can see trend was situated at strong support zone around 250 C black line in above image. 10 and 20 Emma were also giving support to trend at the same area. 10 and 20 Emma just made a bullish crossover three candles ago. Last hourly candle of 8th March was spinning top candle which was an indication of trend reversal. So as you can see both daily and hourly chart were showing green signal for the trade. My analysis was good enough to find a profitable trade setup when Nifty was going deep down and closed with. 15%. This is how I analyze setup in multi-time frame. I hope this will be helpful. Happy trading.